Hello. Welcome to the tutorial on Scarlett Johansson Illustration Portrait Part 2. In Part 1 we have learned how to make outlines. Part 2 is about coloring and blending the skin. Let's continue. Here I'm choosing a duplicate layer of reference layer cause I don't want to lose the original reference picture. Adding new layer for coloring the skin. The brush I choose is Pen Fade Brush with Capacity 39%. For coloring always remember. Choose the lightest color possible. We can add darker colors later to make it realistic. Great. We have the lightest color from skin. Let's apply it now on face, neck and hand. Oh no. Pen fade brush was a mistake. Let's change the brush with dip pen soft. Perfect. I'm coloring the face, neck and hand with the same color. I mostly try to color along the lines. It helps me clipping the next layer. Also I'm making tutorials on my own for now so if you want me to make my content better or any questions about videos or ibis paint, ask me in the comment section. I'll be glad to reply back. Face is done. Time for neck. I have a short story about the fake report card until we paint the neck and hand. I failed the first quarter of a class in middle school, so I made a fake report card. I did this every quarter that year. I forgot that they mail home the end of year cards, and my mom got it before I could intercept with my fake. She was pissed at the school for their error. The teacher also retired that year and have already thrown out his records, so they had to take my mother's proof, the fake ones I made throughout the year, and correct the mistake. <laughs> I've never told her the truth. We are done with paint process. Let's rename the layer. I mostly rename it to skin. Adding a new layer and clipping it to skin layer. Now it's time for adding shades. The brush we use is pen fade brush with 39% capacity. We have to use color pick for blending process. We will pick the color from every part of the skin and apply it to the layer. Until we finish the process I'm telling you another story just for fun. So in 8th grade I used to read during class a lot. At the time I was reading an Artemis Fowl book, and for some reason I had two copies of the same book. So one day in my English class we were reading this other book, which I had already finished reading three days earlier. I was reading my own book, and when it was finally my turn to read, I had no idea where we were. So the teacher took my book away, I found my spot, read the part and passed it to the next person to start reading. So after I read my part, I took out my second copy of Artemis and picked up right where I left off. Skip a few minutes ahead, gets back to my turn to read, and again I don't know where we are. So teacher takes a look at me, sees the book in my hands, then back to her desk obviously confused for a second. But shrugs it off knowing it's me she's dealing with, I've caused similar problems like this before, takes my second book and puts it on her desk, and makes me read my part. Now my friend that sat two chairs down from me was also reading Artemis at the same time as me, and with a quick look to him, he knew exactly what I was planning. He took it out and passed it over without hesitation. I opened to a random spot and just pretended like I was reading. At this point it was just a mess with my teacher. So skip forward again and my teacher sees me with the book again and says, how many of those do you have? I gave my smart remark is enough. She took away that book too. But now at this point I was out of books and the rest of my class knew it. But the teacher didn't know I was out. So she continued with her lesson, and another friend of mine took two of her books, and switched out two of the Artemis books on her desk, to make them look like they were still there. He passed the book slowly around the room, one at a time, until they were back to me. Then I took one out, opened to a random spot and just kept it open, waiting to get caught. I silently signaled to a few people in class and they started laughing. The teacher looked at what they were laughing at and saw me with yet another book. She looked at her desk where there were seemingly three Artemis books and saw me with a fourth. She took it, walked back to her desk, put it down, turned around, and saw me with the second book that got taken back on my desk. The teacher thought she was going to win this game, but underestimated my teamwork with my classmates. 
so the second she came over to me to take the seemingly fifth book, another classmate took back the other two books from her desk and split them up sending one to me one way and the other another way. The teacher was very flustered and laughing hysterically at this point, and there was no more teaching going on. The entire class was also going ballistic trying to see who would win. It was just a game of how many books does this one 8th grader have? So at the end of the class she thought she had taken 11 books from me. I took pity on her and told her what was really happening. I told her that I had already read the first book and all the teamwork that went on. We were both laughing and making jokes. In the end she agreed to let me read my own book as long as I kept track of the actual book we were reading. Meaning, I ask the person next to me tell me when it's my turn and they point out my spot to read so I don't actually have to keep track. The blending process is in progress. If you want me to share my blending brush for you, ask for it in the comments box. I'll try to share it with you and can make a video for you too about how to import it in Ibis Paint. This is the easiest shading method I'm sharing for the beginners. Some people use blur tool for blending. No doubt it's easier and smoother, but in blending, we need to blend only the overlapping areas, keeping the rest of the color intact, which makes the features more appealing, which is not possible by blur tool. Enjoy the process. I'll get back to you when it's done.
Blending is done. Let's merge the layers. Renaming the new layer to Skin 2. Hooray, the skin is ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It takes lots of effort to make tutorials. Thanks for watching.